Wish I could feel what I can't see Float like a butterfly, scream like a banshee Something's hiding in the pantry Hi guys, welcome back. So you probably haven't seen me in a hot minute and I did let you guys know on Instagram, please follow me there if you're not because that's where I keep you guys like daily, hourly updated on things. I haven't even really been on there too much but I am still posting and letting you guys know I'm alive. Um, so definitely follow me there if you haven't but I let you guys know that my daughter and her father and his son came into town from um, South Carolina and so I got my daughter back this last weekend but I was not able to film or do much of anything so I am trying to film as much as I can this week to try to fill in spots which you may only see me this once and I'm sorry if you do but that will be done by next weekend I am back to my regular filming at least three videos a week so that's one favorite for the month, right? My daughter's back. Um, now we are just dealing with what school's doing because it starts in like less than two weeks and the school still doesn't know what they're doing. So they haven't even given us um, our child's placements or school supply lists. So I guess we are expected to get both of those within less than a week, which that should be interesting. <laughs> But let's go ahead and talk about my favorites for this month, maybe even the last few months. You're going to see a lot of reoccurring items here because when I like something, I do not like change. So I tend to use it until it's gone. So I have a ton. I'm, and I mean, ugh, like, ugh, I have so much to go through with you guys and I even have some fails. So this is going to be a really long video. Grab a snack or your coffee or whatever you do while you're watching videos for a hot minute because you're going to be here for a hot minute. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just jump into it. I'm going to start with my loves and then I'll end with some fails. There's only a couple of them, but they are pretty prominent and from companies that we know and you'll want to hear about. So I'm just going to grab here because literally everything is piled into this one little thing. So the first thing that I have been loving is from iMethod Beauty. They actually sent this to me um, as a PR thing. And I'm like, you know what, I'll try it out. They are on Amazon. Um, and I instantly fell in love with this because I find that I am finding a ton of dupes lately. So I might actually end up making a dupe video but for now I'm probably gonna share a lot of them in this video so that'll be great for you guys but this is a complete dupe for the benefit their little go brow thing that they have I think ah gotcha you fucker we are having a fruit fly disastrous problem in my bedroom and I cannot figure out why there's nothing that they're landing on that's just drawing them nothing all the traps are not working send help <laughs> if any of y'all know me well you know i mean flies any type mm -mm, mm -mm. but this is just like the grooming and it's a volumizing brow gel that has a slight little tint to it it's like there we go it's just the same type of wand the same type of quality only much much cheaper so I will leave them linked down below. They have an assortment of different products and they are in my Amazon favorites storefront that I have always listed down below as well because they are a favorite. They, yeah, they did that damn thing. So good on them. I'm actually using it today and I just, I just love it because it doesn't make my brows like ABH clear brow gel hard. It makes them so if I touch my face and I mess up my eyebrow, I can actually fix it and it doesn't feel like it's hard as a rock and going to slice my finger off. So I like that. Let's move on. Okay, some primers while we're here, if I can actually get all of them, because I actually have quite a few that I like that I've been like addicted to. The first one is from Shop Miss A. This is their AOA Aloe Face Primer. I've talked to you guys recently about this on a Best of Shop Miss A. This is, it's just a blue stick that you can either rub all over your face. I I wouldn't recommend doing that because it could pro possibly grow bacteria or something. But I have a makeup spatula that I like to use and I kind of just take a little bit off from that and then apply it to my face. It's very moisturizing. There's, it's not a silicone type of thing. It's just a moisturizing 
prep for the skin and I even like to wear this if I'm not wearing makeup because I just like the way that it makes my skin feel so and it doesn't bother my makeup so that's definitely a plus from that and then this little item here from Revlon I've talked to you guys about so much but if I want a glow under base this is what I go for because this is very moisturizing glowy lit from within kind of primer and this is a complete dupe for the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base, which is $60 plus. So this is a 11 to $15. I'm not sure which one. It's like in between that range, but it's definitely dupable priced. So I love this. I've been using the crap out of it, and they have a bunch of different kinds of these. So I might actually grab different ones because I like that one so much. And then we have from She Glam their birthday primer you don't need much of this I've barely made a dent I mean and I've used it so many times I take a little skincare spoon and I scoop some out this is another one of those it reminds me a lot of the Tatcha face primer that's in the little circle pan thing it's like an exact replicate only this is I think four dollars so that has been amazing I really need to do a dupes video like I need to get that done because I have so many dupes you guys it's incredible I'm like proud of myself <laughs> and by the way if you are interested in anything like my makeup we'll talk about it anyway because most of the stuff that I'm wearing is in here but my hair my jewelry you know my nails my clothes anything all of that is listed and linked down below for you guys if you're interested for anything that I can find in links so there's that I I usually see that in the intro but I'm like so off base from not filming messing up my schedule I'm telling you I hate change I am not one of those people now I threw this in here um, because I've already tossed the packaging for it this is the AOA pimple patches only these are the bigger diameter ones I didn't realize it I thought they only had different counts like different amount counts packs like you can get one slide pack or you can get three or six or twelve you can also get different sizes and I did not know that so I picked up the bigger ones and I picked up three packs of these because my husband's been using the crap out of these especially because he gets back acne really really bad and these help so much by like the second you can literally sit there and watch them like suck up the stuff into the patch it's so wonderful for us I've been using it on little problem areas that I've been having and it's like less than a week that my pimples are taken care of when they come around so I love the AOA pimple patches I think they are great great deal and they give you so many different options to choose from you get exactly what you need another favorite um, I don't know how many of these I actually threw in here maybe every single one but these are the AOA the new bionic vegan lash I will be talking about these in a best of shot say at some point but these are so 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 incredibly good when I showed you guys that I hauled these and I think it was my last shot miss a haul I did an up close shot of all the lashes but right now I am wearing let me see if I have it no I don't I think it's in my a little container they're popping everywhere I have a little container that I keep what I put on my face so I can go back in my videos and write down everything that I was wearing I am wearing Hebe I believe H-E-B-E -E that one and on my lashes today and these are so comfortable they feel like real mink because I have had real mink lashes from velour lashes when they were doing the mink lashes they feel exactly like that the only thing about these is they do keep a lot at the ends of the band so you have to cut them otherwise you're gonna have the worst time trying to apply these they are five dollars each this is part of their new pro line I'm actually really excited to see where they go with this and if they're just gonna add lashes or if it's gonna be like more makeup and like skincare type of things because I'm I'm here for it like I'm so here for it so five dollars each I definitely think that you need to find a favorite style that you are used to wearing and stick with it um, unless you have the money to buy all of them I bought as many as I could <laughs> I don't know um I'll go through what I use and find a favorite and I'll probably repurchase a pair every time I purchase something from Shop Miss A because it is five dollars each instead of the one dollar that I'm used to or even the dollar fifty five so I have favorites that from them that are cheaper so I may 
continue with whatever I find my favorites out of these bionic lashes I'll repurchase that and it might be heap because this I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly but these are gorgeous I love these ones they remind me of the Demi Wispies only in a like full mink style like a better style so definitely love them definitely recommend Alexa is listening to me I hear you yeah sorry I didn't understand that I know because it wasn't meant for you lady stop listening to me I don't trust all of those things like Siri and all of them I don't trust them and I have them everywhere so if I say the name then it, they they're like huh what what <laughs> all right so some eyeshadow palettes face palettes things like that because they're in my way the first thing I highly recommend this so much not a lot of people like stuff from makeup revolution and first off it's because they don't get the respect because they're always like taking things from other brands and like making it it's not even a dupe it's like they're trying to replicate it and without saying that they are and i think that that's kind of like a a rip off type of thing but sometimes they slam items and people miss them because of their bad reputation so this first thing i got this at target and i love this i use it all the time it is the roxy palette it's covered in prints I use it all the time. It's the Roxaurus Contour and Highlight Palette. So you get a huge mirror and then you get all of these shades. You get four of these kind of bronzing contour shades and then you get four of the highlighting shades and they all perform amazingly seamlessly like that this is like a high-end product to me it really does perform i think it's about 15 dollars. i'm not positive but ulta has it as well and it is definitely worth getting if you like your contour bronzer and highlights all together if that's something that you really like you will love this palette and then what i'm wearing today actually on my eyes and this is another dupe this is from hard candy their look pro eyeshadow palette and blushful nudes I actually passed on my Huda Beauty new new nudes, I think that's what it was called, palette, which is like 65 bucks, I think. I passed it on because of this hard candy palette. Performs better, performs better, has all of my favorite shades out of that palette, and they perform better. I have it on my eyes. Beautiful, never had a problem, been using the crap out of this. Even the glitter performs better on this than the Huda Beauty ones. So, dupe, and they have different colors. If you're not into like the purpley pinks, they have um, five or six different shade types of that palette, but I haven't grabbed any of them. So, all I know is the Blushful Nudes is a straight up dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette, and I got rid of it because of it. Like, that's a big deal. The next thing is something that I got at Marshalls, I believe, or Target, but they do still have some of these palette versions for sale at Ulta or Sephora, and I would highly recommend them because the formula is top notch. So this is Buxom Boss Babe Betty. This is the one that I got, the Boss Babe Betty one, because it's warm toned. I mean, I haven't even taken off the film from the mirror yet, but I've used the crap out of this palette. This is my dream palette here. Look at that. And every shade is so beautiful. Like, you can come out with the most neutral, beautiful look, or you can make something really, really dramatic. This is a great, like, day-to-night type of palette. I don't remember how much I got it for, but even at full price, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. But if you can go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx and find it, do it. And do it. And grab them. Grab them all. The next thing I want to talk about, because it's in my way, and then we're going to go back to more eyeshadow palettes, but this is the Prism Hair Curler. Now, I told you guys that, I think it was in an empties, I, my Irresistible Me, I worked with them like six years ago um, on a sponsorship, and it was kind of like a long-running one because I've tried a ton of their hair tools. Um, they're, they don't sell it anymore, but their Ruby automatic hair curler was my favorite and I've used it all the way up until the metal on the inside here started to come off and it was singeing my hair. So I had to get something different. That was a $200 hair curler and I didn't really think about it because I got it for free. You know, so I had to look for another one and I knew I needed an automatic one. So I found this one on Amazon. I believe it was $80, which is a huge purchase for me, but worth it. This is like the best hair curler ever. 
ever. It's so much better than even the Irresistible Me one, and it's $120 cheaper. But this is amazing. I highly recommend it if you guys want to, if you curl your hair a lot, but you don't want the damage, and you also don't want to have to, like, curl it yourself and hold it, this is automatic. And it goes up really, really hot, very easy kind of LED screen here. And then you can press this middle button and it'll always come back to the middle for you. And then you have your left and right button, depending on which way you want to curl your hair. And it just automatically curls it up for you. Sounds a little dangerous, can be a little scary at first if you're not used to it. But once you are, you'll never go back. Just like me, you'll never go back. A couple more eyeshadow palettes that I highly recommend grabbing. Wet and Wild. Anybody else? Are they killing it? Is anybody else thinking that Wet and Wild is seriously killing it? I have a cart full of stuff that I want from them. I still have a bunch of stuff from them I'm going to talk about, but Wet and Wild is doing the damn thing. Now I have these two new palettes from them, In Love with Coco, which is more of a neutral warm brown toned palette. It's a lot like the Boss Bay Be Betty palette. This performs so good! so good so this is definitely worth it and it's so affordable and then the honey palette which has a glitter in the middle that i haven't tried yet but these perform so good the only other one i don't have i believe is a, the cherry palette i'm getting it if i see it at target i'm grabbing it because i want all of these they are woo amazing and a little lethal <laughs> next thing i'm going to quickly mention this because I did a sponsor for them. I've talked about them in my last favorites, but Mori, their growth spray. You guys, seriously, this is so good. I cannot explain it. My hair has grown so much that it almost touches the top of my butt. I'm not even kidding. It's this alone since I've had it has made my hair grow at least three inches, at least. And it's like, it feels healthier. My scalp feels healthier. Like I'm getting more gray hair, but I'm getting more hair. <laughs> my hair is like falling out less. I just, I can't, I will repurchase this. I think that is an amazing, amazing growth spray that you can use the crap out of without having any greasy hair, which a lot of growth sprays will give you. So it's definitely worth the price. Just gotta say it again. The next thing here is from AOA and oh my gosh, looks like a jizz rag. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's so <laughs> it really kind of does. And it really kind of is like that for me. You know when you have guys that work on cars or they have their own garage and they always have their rags around. Well, this is what this is for for me. This is from OKI, I believe. Yes, official key items. It is their drying cloth. So what I like about this is I use it for whatever I'm doing over at my vanity. I dust with it even. And then I'm buying a couple of more to actually like keep in my purse because I sweat so much from my medicine that I take that I can use it for an actual drying towel if I'm out in public because that's something that's really embarrassing to me is that and uh, a huge reason why I have so much social anxiety is because of the effects that I'm on it makes me sweat constantly so this and Lenny best friends best friends Lenny's on Amazon I'll link him too <laughs> another favorite of mine you guys might have seen it if you watched my trying creams for the first time video I haven't kept my fingers out of this blush from AOA this is their cream blush hush blush sheer blush they call it in Cupid and a lot of people were like oh I really like those because I was like oh it didn't give me enough pack it didn't pack enough punch it kind of wore off no it didn't these are sheer they're supposed to be sheer they're supposed to be buildable they're supposed to be like a base and then you go in with a, one of their powders or any other kind of powder blush I was I, I kind of dug deep into it afterwards because so many people um on that video were like I really like those and I guess I kind of came off like I didn't no I love these and especially this one I have three and this one in Cupid is by far like the prettiest color so definitely recommend those for sure and I mean I know they're small but you might actually use a blush up could you imagine I will you'll hear me screaming from wherever you live if I ever use a blush up <laughs> this next item now I recently got a bunch of stuff from Verst Verst actually sends me PR packages and they sell their items at Target which I didn't realize and when I did I went to Target and bought a few more things they recently sent me out, probably like two or three weeks ago, another PR package. This here, 
this is amazing. This is their Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator. It has berry leaf extract in it and micro crystalline. This is one of the best, like, almost daily, like, <sighs> exfoliators. There we go. Exfoliators that I've ever tried. It's vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, dye-free. They have no para parabens, silicones, um, sulfates, petroleum, mineral oil, PEGs, none of that. Um, it's a pore refining exfoliator. It has super fine, uniform microcrystals that are gentle, safe, and biodegradable. It's for dullness and problematic skin. So this has been happening, helping me so much. And what it's been doing is not only helping with the texture on my face and the dullness, it exfoliates um, without cause, without being too harsh. You know, so you can actually daily get the cells dead skin off your face and your skin will always have this bright look to it and you can use it and use it and use it and you're not going to have any bad side effects from using it i love this so much so much i think this might be one of my favorite products from them besides the headband <laughs> i'm trying to hurry because i know how long this video is and i'm so so sorry but i just i have a lot of favorites i have a lot of products i've been trying a lot of stuff here so oh and another wet and wild product here is the hello halo this is a blush lighter so what it is is a highlighter and a blush together i have this one i don't know if i know the name highlight bling highlight bling um, so the blush is also like a pink highlighter. I have both of them on today, actually, and I love this. I've been using it to some capacity almost every time I use my makeup. I like to use the highlighter a lot for the inner corner because, man, if that is, is it's so reflective that it literally draws your eyes to wherever you place it on your face. So absolutely love this um if they have different versions which they must if this has a name then i think i might pick up some more because wet and wild's killing it and onto them actually still let's talk about these brushes that i got at five below these were five dollars each this is part of their pro line i've never heard of their pro line but these are the best brushes i've ever used hands down best quality best best brushes i mean they're dirty because i'm using them like, this is like an under eye thing, you know? Like, I, oh, And then this is a full powder, full powder brush. I mean, this is, like, amazing. But this blush brush, it's got a rectangle shape to it. It is perfection for blush. Like, I cannot get over how great these are. And they have little divots in the actual brush that cause your finger to go in there and you have such control over what you're doing and they're gorgeous so yeah this might be number one out of all of my favorites for this month is the wet and wild brushes they have done amazing and i want them all so i don't remember if i grabbed everyone that they had i don't know i gotta find more i gotta find more there's gotta be more right and now on to brushes still here for a hot minute a bunch of dirty brushes because i used them today What's Up Beauty is an indie brand that's recently sent me out some PR and I've been testing them out. I have not tried their eyeshadow palette out yet, but the things that I have tried out, I'm a little amazed. So this is an indie brand. I, I've always wanted to try indie brands, but they do tend to be a little bit more expensive um, than normal brands, even normal high-end brands. So it can be hard for me to come out of pocket for it. Now, these are my Wayne Goss brushes. And these are about $30 a piece, maybe a little bit less, $25, $23. Um, these are exact replicas of the What's Up in Beauty. Like, look at them. You can even tell. Like, they're made the same way. And they're cheaper. I think it's amazing. I love the Wayne Goss brushes. These were gifted to me from my friend Tracy, and I love them to death. I have a bunch of them, and I will never get rid of them. They are amazing. But these What's Up Beauty ones are the exact same thing, only they're pink, so they're that's going for them. And they're a little bit cheaper. They're not, not by much. Not by much, but they're a little bit cheaper. So if you've been wanting to try the Wing Goss and it's just a little bit too expensive for you, try the What's Up in Beauty because these are amazing brushes. Mmm, giving me indigestion. I think you can get the whole set 
for like $119 and that's like these only or you can get them individually for around $20 each so they are worth it if you can afford it but it is like a smaller end dupe for wing goss if you have always wanted to try those out so that and their nail polishes their nail polishes i'm wearing one right now i'm wearing them on my acrylics that i have and it's this one here in desert rose of course rose love them they are so good and they are the, like the nine free it's like the pacifica nail polishes they don't have all those bad chemicals in them they're very opaque and they're gorgeous i mean look at this one look at that i mean you can't even see all like the weird different shifty colors that they have i mean the, it's amazing so this brand is definitely a brand worth trying out i will be trying out their eyeshadow palette to see the formula of that and of course you guys will know my feelings when i try it all right some more things here oh my gosh i'm telling you this is gonna be such a long video i'm so so sorry so this has been a favorite i have some kind of kind of like conditioning items here this is aoa the what i hate about this is that the little label always peels off every single one of them this is their cuticle oil pens and it's just like the opi ones only cheaper this is the one in lemon um i don't really care about the sense of them i don't i care about what it does for around my nails because i have anxiety so i'm almost done with this one i think this is my third or fourth one and then i have two more that are new and waiting i love all of them i think they're great i love it it's like repurchase after repurchase so i wanted to tell you guys that this is newer but just for this month and i love it so much already this is from dhc which is one of my favorite higher end skincare korean skincare brands and i have tried a lot from them not this and i feel so excited about having my hands on this this is a dhc eyelash tonic and it's just a conditioning eyelash thing that you put on before your mascara during the day and then you just put on at night with your skincare and it's like a lash growth serum oh does it work it works so good so so good and you don't use a lot of it i've been using it for a while now and it's just to where it's almost underneath the little gold strip there i got this from skinstore.com a little bit of an addiction a little bit of an addiction they are um but i love that site and i love that product i would highly recommend anything from dhc if you see it try it out because they're wonderful another skin type of product though i got this at marshall's i believe but they are still actually openly selling this on their site i'm getting on their site you watch i'll do it this is from kella kella is sold on shop miss a which is what was where i found them i guess i could say then i found them at tj maxx and marshall's and then I started seeing more and more and noticing that they have their own site. They, they, they don't just sell on other like discount brand sites. They are their own site and their own brand. This is their like little facial brush that came with a little headband and everything. And it was, it was not that much money at all. It was like five bucks. This little tool here is so cool. So if you, at the end of the day I use this first, which this is like a silicone will not grow bacterial kind of scrubber. And then there's this massaging kind of, you can see it there. And this is just a brush that foams up any kind of cleanser that you have. This will give you the best clean face out of any kind of cleanser that you're using. So I really, really love this. And I've been using it every single day, twice a day. <laughs> Next up, some things from Sheen. This, the setting spray, you guys get this. This is so amazing. It smells like summer. The spray on it is amazing. Oh, it's, it's perfect. I'm keeping the bottle after this is gone because I like the sprayer so much. It smells like coconut rum. I don't know why. I just love this so much and it's such a great setting spray. So this was a big hit this month along with their $4 lipsticks. They're in about a $50 quality casing and i am actually wearing this on my lips which one is it it's not nude this one here in dry rose that's where i'm wearing on my lips today so conditioning and so beautiful and then with along with that their lip liners which have a soft matte pink feel to them they are quality i'm telling you if you think that you haven't tried out she glam because it's a cheap brand or it's a chinese brand or an asian brand don't 
go and check them out grab some of their stuff because you will spend four to six dollars on things that you would be on Ulta spending 20 to 50 dollars on and I'm not kidding so I also love their lip liners and I am wearing one today which one am I wearing they don't have names that's the only shitty thing about these lip liners is they do not have names I think it's this one here in 204 which I think is mystic rose or mojito I'm not sure but love these so much all right and let's talk about let's talk about the fails now there's only a couple so you guys can move on with your life <laughs> the first thing here are just the wipes that I got from five below that are $1.25 it's citrus and sage I told you guys I wanted to check these out because they were really the only ones I could find there um, a subscriber did tell me to grab the W7 ones that they were amazing because I'm always on a good makeup wipe like hunt. I know they're not great for you, but the only ones I've ever found that actually work without killing my eyes is the number seven. These, they're just swatch ones. They do not put that on your face. That's all I have to say. <laughs> do not do it. The next thing is a product from Versed. It did not work for me and it... I hate putting this in a negative aspect of the video because it's it didn't work for me because it's not for me. I just wanted to try it out, you know, and see, but no, this is not a product for me. Um, this is developed for sensitive skin, which I don't really have sensitive skin, but I still use sensitive skin products because it doesn't really seem to matter. This is their Gentle Cycle, and it's a milky cleanser. It has oat milk and pri pro probiotics in it. The thing I don't like about this is that it stinks for one. It smells like dry Play-Doh and it's for dryness. So when I was washing my face with this, it left a moisturizing film on my face. It's kind of like using a bad makeup wipe and I didn't like that. I instantly was in the shower and like threw this over the shower curtain and was like, no. My husband's like, I guess you don't like that. I'm like, nope, not that one. Not today. <laughs> All right, and lastly, something that I weirdly did not care for were the MAC eyelashes that I got from TJ Maxx. I didn't like these. They are too hard to work with because they're too tiny. These remind me of the dollar lashes on Shop Masse that are not branded. They're like from Elf or something like that. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what brand they are, but they stink. The dollar, dollar ones. Max, MAC. Think about that. I've tried so many different kinds of eyelashes, so I know the quality types of things I like that they have different colored hairs in there because it looks really natural but these are only worth about a dollar that's all I would pay for them all right so finally we are all done I know that, that was a long video but I have had so many things that I have been loving this month I've really been using the crap out of a ton of stuff I have a lot of new stuff coming in trying out I'm just I'm so pumped so I'm I'm sorry for my disappearance this week um I wanted to let you guys know what was going on and that things will go back to the regular schedule soon I'm not dipping out again here <laughs> we do have to worry about that with Nikki don't we but I will leave everything that I talked about listed and linked down below for you guys if you are interested in checking it out as well as all of my details which some of it's very exciting. So it's all down below in the description box for you guys. If you want to check any of it out, highly recommend. Except for the ones that I don't like. Don't get those. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And I, of course, will see you in the next one. I may be a little bit like, ah, the next couple of weeks. But that's because I have two kids starting school with so much unknown in the COVID world. So... I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying. Let me know some of your favorites down below in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And I will, of course, see you in the next one. I'm like a bad cold. I just linger. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>